Don't know, keep fully loaded. Yeah. Jay, Jay. Jails. Jay, 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 Jay. My niggas moving through the field. You niggas gon' get killed. Head tap when I'm throwing. I make Jesus grab the wheel. I know how I feel. You put your life up on a rich and mill. Diamonds really hitting still. Spitting till I get my spill. Maneuver it with shooters. Them boys ain't point. Got that target logo every time they pull up to the joint. They like feet. Anybody die. You just got a point. Any nigga acting crazy. I bet he gon' get the point. I'm like, cool. Don't nobody move. They looking confused. They see the tools. All these niggas strapped. They gon' have to choose If he do Then that 40 Glock I hit him with that snooze We on when we learn the lesson Nigga we don't never lose I told my bitch Go grab a Birkin Cause these niggas lurking I'm for certain If I let it go They gon' close the curtain Where she at That bitch taking long This whole thing I'm calling shit in the next week Then that nigga gone My niggas move the field You niggas don't get killed All attack When I'm throwing I'm Jesus Grab the field I'm the high field You put your life up on it Get your nerves Pop the What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, it's your boy Yao Fee. Uncle Ty in the building. And we are the Four Spy. Know that. Today we got a special treat for y'all. Oh I'm pretty sure this man right here don't really need no introduction, especially in this community. Yes, you know what yes. I mean? I feel exactly. like you gotta give him his representation. I feel like he's a pillar of the community ever since he touched down. Yes. Um, he's been making astronomical changes in the community. He's definitely making changes. Now I mean, which is very much appreciative. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We, we definitely appreciate Kings for coming out here, taking care of the business how they supposed to take care of it. So. Without further ado, I want y'all to meet my good friend, G Mac himself. Dan do me fat. Let's give him a round. Yo, so it's a pleasure, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. I also know that you are running for independent democratic party. Independent. Let's get that. Let's get that established. So, um, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk a little bit about that, right? Um, I know that it's been like a lot of the same type of people representing the Democratic Party, and not a lot of changes have been happening. Um, we also tried to have uh, Bishop come down here, but um, yeah, do a certain situations. His, his, his people contacted us and told yeah, us that no, uh, he, to do the he had to do the, a, a media a media thing. So uh, we respect that. We respect yeah, that. It's all, it's all about I me. Mean. But um, I, I've checked the numbers. I've seen the numbers. And, uh, it's, it's, really, it's really damn. So uh, what I want to bring to you is that um, in, in the position that you're in right now, how 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 do you feel about that? How do you? Well, see, it's going to be me as far as how I feel about the whole... As far as you feel about your position in the, in the race, right? And when you feel like that's going, like you think that that's going to where you, y'all, y'all, your, the campus is just trying to push it to? Yeah, so right now you have to really understand what's happening. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. The camera here, the camera so that's, that's the one you got me at, right? So I'm not sure how... Well, I, I'm clear on our community not being educated enough. On what's happening, right? So, for me, I've never thought about going into politics. I never grew up on the damn politics. I never had nothing that I wanted to be. I just grew up in the politics, right? So, I, whatever I became, I became the life. And as I became the CEO of, of GMAC, I got involved in so much in the community that I saw a need for something else, right? I saw that the things that I was working to fix, there were people in office who was not doing the things they could do to really make that happen. For example, I want to talk to you on Portland because there's a lot of people that don't know what those things are, right? 
So, for example, like what 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 type of things that are um that wasn't being fixed that you noticed? I, I like I like examples. So the bubble president deals with community boards, right? Like bubble president deals with community boards, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna change this shit anyway. This thing is it's not it's not it's not the fault, bro. It's everything like that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. 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 The yeah. phone might ring, you yeah. might have to hit time. Yeah. That's how we call it. I'm going to just cut me, but it's clean. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's support, baby. Yeah. 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 But uh, so, it's bringing it back. Now, getting to the process of understanding, I'm looking at the community board today. I'm looking at the issues of, if we look at the fort, if I come out here, we, we don't walk through the hood, we see a bunch of Scaffolding, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for years. Forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm being dumb about that. Okay, what's that fix it? Yeah, yeah. 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 right? Yo, okay. who's, who's, who's making the decision yeah. that that y'all fixing stuff forever? Right, right. right. And who's getting paid to fix stuff forever? Right. right. And when you look at the names and the signs over the scaffolding, it's a European company yeah. who are not employing black and browns that look directly at these projects. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? So the community board is part of this, this conversation. Mm-hmm. You're not bring the right people in the community board to be part of the conversation to make change in our community. You got people in the community board who don't even live in the community, right? So now I'm pretty sure people in the community don't even know who's on the community board. That's a fact, mm-hmm. right? So how how do how do how you make a decision for me if you don't even talk to me about what right. yeah, concerns me? You don't right? know what's going on. You may not even live in Brooklyn no more, but you're on the Brooklyn community board. So when they come talk about development, then you're going to Work towards that development because it's going to work for the better of your pocket. Right, you sure. change that. So that's an example of some of the things that I felt I could be involved in by bringing more people from my community and, and, and making a diverse board. Right. Okay. So the borough president deals with appointing chief people to the community boards. Do you know how many community boards in Brooklyn? No. I think so. It's right. 18 community boards in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Right. So on these community boards, you got community chairs who meet with the borough board and meet with the borough president talking about everything that's happening around. Our world. Okay. We're, we're, so we don't know who's on these boards. So that's just an example of what I'm saying. So what so what you add in you add in a different aspect to the board. What do you think that will change? Like because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of structures and a lot of things in place that have been in place for, for many years. Okay. How do you how do you attempt to tackle that and change that and make that diverse and make those changes happen? See when you appoint the correct people who are involved in the community into that, then they're going to make decisions for you. That's how I look at everything. It's not about what I'm going to do. I don't come into this with what I'm going to do. Everybody around that know me tell you, I'm about what everybody else is going to bring to the table. Right? I, I got my brains, y'all all got brains too. Yeah. There's people who focus on other things differently, right? I might be focused on gun violence, there's people who focus on housing, right? There's people who focus, so now I'm going to put you in these places with your experiments, and now come back to the table with us and me, and now the leadership will tell you, okay, what y'all got? What's the problems? How do they now fix it? Actually, you know what I'm saying? You gotta see what, what's happening now, right? You can't assume you think, you know, I'm not into all these things because That's I don't have the access. Mm-hmm. But uh-huh. now having the access, there's the ability to make the change, the shift that we need by now hearing, oh, we didn't know this. Now that we know this, this is what, what we, we have to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not just what you can do. It's what can we do? It's a friend of our community. You know what I'm saying? We can change. With, um, with GMAC, do you, do you feel like um, GMAC is. Is, is is more than just a community based thing? Could this be like a, a nationwide thing? Could this be like a, a world global thing? Yeah, that's the that's yeah, thinking, to be honest. Nah, that's good. Smile when we say that. Bro, uh, people thing. don't know this, <laughs> right, but I always talk about uh, my brother and sister, Tanika Madden and Mike's son, right? Yeah. Until Freedom. People don't know that we was out there numerous times in, in Kentucky, right, to be honest, right? And we, a lot of videos with you guys. Right? Yeah, we in the yeah. we in the field with the people in Louisville, Kentucky, mm-hmm. right? in, in, in the trenches with them. For sure, for sure. And so that's an example we talk about. We was there when they got arrested on Daniel Cameron Law. We went out there like they were trying to go to jail. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when we got out there, they like uh, on the law, like, hold up with me. <laughs> we got to be hold up now. New York. Yeah, they might come up, they might, we might be beautiful prisons. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, Kentucky, uh, right? <laughs> oh, you got him out here. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, he might get a call yeah. from New York. Yeah. Like, hold up. Yeah. 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 So we, had to, we pulled it's back when we held him down at the, at the jail, the protest outside the jail until they got out. So that's an example. And we we traveled. I don't I, I don't have an area. I travel where it needed. So we, we've been reached out before about, you know, how can we open up a branch and keep back here or there? But you got to have the right mind, the right people. We still being ostracized and people don't understand what we do. So 
can't just put something over there and somebody mess that whole package up. You know what I mean? So that makes a brand. It's a fact. So you know what I mean? That's dope. That's dope. As we see um, on, there's a lot of news, news, you know, a lot of media that um, projects uh, G Mac in a, in, a, in, a, in a light that is very positive for the community. Um, coming from the background that you and most of the um, people in, in, in the office, G Mac, I feel like people need to know that it's possible coming from that type of background to change your life and be something that's that's great because a lot of these kids are confused. Yes. Um, it's a lot of drugs involved in what they're doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, with that, with that being said, I feel like people need to know how how can that transaction happen? How can that transition happen? And you explain like how it happened for like for you and like and people you see developed. The, the, the transition is every day, right? You got a thing called relapse. Mm-hmm. Lifestyle violence, you look at it differently. And it's easy to, like, any addiction of lifestyle, you can be that before back to it. So we always work on the right type of support treatment for each other to make sure that we focus, we deal with conflicts every day, mm-hmm. right? But the transition happens mentally, bro. That's really what it is. It, it, it's nothing else. It's about the fact that they put a lot of stuff into our minds at a young age. Right, the question is, mind yours is, okay, you look at this brother right here, but you will know that he did 31 years straight, right? 30, 31. Damn. Man. That's, 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 that's a mental mental thing in itself right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he has experiences from that, right? And what we got to do is take our experiences and utilize them for our youth. That's, not, right. that's what we're not doing. Right, they were elders who gave me more respect and ethics, but that's it, they just went the wrong way. Do you think that these youth are, are harder to reach than they were before, like the weeks coming up, the weeks coming up? Do you think that now they're, they're provided with so much influence to do negative, to do things that are not good to society that how would you reach them? Like, is that mission working? Is that, is that working? Yeah, I mean, you can't, we don't believe. We don't believe that, see that tell you before, right? mm-hmm. We don't believe that we don't believe that you can stop anything in this world. We can't stop anything that happens. Some some things are just instantaneously, right? Somebody sees something they react reactionary, right? Right, right. Or reactionary myself, right? Yeah. So if something happens is a response. But it's about being able to get into the person's mind at the time of a conflict and give them another option. And that happened to me about a year ago when I was leading all of the lunch. So I know it worked, right? And that was when I came home and shit in my mind, I always remember that. I tell I talk about that in my book, by the way, my book, Two Way Mirror, mm-hmm. Try Gangster. Two Way Mirror, Try Gangster versus Shane with McFadden. That's how that I mean, never read nothing like that before. I guarantee you that. But so for me, in prison, seeing a father meet his child in prison for the first time was my shift. Right. I, I didn't want my kids, yeah, I didn't want my kids to be like that. I didn't want them to follow my lifestyle and that was what changed me because I wanted to help others. So that's why I created the organization. And creating the organization I got to give myself the therapy that I needed. You understand know what I'm saying? The, the, the constant therapy. Right? Was it was it was it difficult for you to you create G Mac? Did you meet some like some barriers and things that 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 prevented you from sometimes you wanted to quit, sometimes you was like, damn, this ain't even worth it, like is it, is it, were it, it days like that? Because I want people to know, like, it's a struggle. It's a, it's not, Woo! It's a me! This guy's crazy, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you ain't see, look, you ain't see they put him in the front of the paper. You ain't see that part yeah, of the yeah. that? Mm-hmm. And you pay attention, you gotta pay attention. You gotta, you gotta pay attention. The slam, the defamation of character, right? Okay. All, all of that is because I'm creating you, man. You what I'm doing. Right? Right. They said that I threatened my neighbor, somebody I never met before in my life. Police report said an unknown male did it, but then it became Chandler McFadden. This is a fact. I don't want to talk about it, but you know what I'm saying? We saw a video where the um, the police were yeah. like intimidating the public. Yeah. In front of your establishment. Right, this is yeah. so so when they intimidate the public and I respond accordingly, right. then I'm aggressive, I'm violent, I got a problem with the public. You know what I'm saying? They gotta make you look like that. Right, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not that we I'm standing my ground and I Protect myself against the lifelong trauma of over policing, right? Okay. So, if you are over policing me and I know that I, I know my rights, I'm going to respond like a, a woman who's being 
possibly beat by this man. Right. By the right. same spot. It's going to be a retaliation. Right. So sure. if you come with me respectfully, this is what you're going to give respect. Mm-hmm. So, but this is what they did. So even when I talk about that paper, they put me on. So I was, I was mostly arrested and I lost in the federal government. Oh, this is 2020. You don't know that part. Okay. So they don't. They don't know that part. To the person who made out against against uh, look it up. He was getting sued. All right, stop playing. I get sued. Million dollars false. We got no beef with the police. No, we got no beef with the police. Everything is good. We got no beef with the police. I'm sure. I'm sure. Write it out. Yeah. I'm not fighting. I'm just not going with the. When you say all the bad stuff, I'm writing it out. That's it. That's it. That's it. So they threw me on the front page. This is after the Super Bowl. I got the, the whole front cover, right? It, 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 it was a, it was a two-page spread, okay. and that was about propaganda. You see what I'm saying? Defamation. It's about public opinion, right? right? The, the best thing is that bring that, you know what I'm saying? Slam that black man. Make people don't believe in what he can do. Yeah. Make people don't believe that change is possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Possible. And we fall victim automatically. I see you know people fall victim. So that's the answer to that question. It's, it's constant, it's consistent. Right, when you see what today, today, you got an organization that's gangsters, right? Mm-hmm. So they like they see us out in front of the office and they assume we just out there probably selling drugs out of the office or just trying to talk to women. No, so when you say organizations that's gangsters, what do you mean by organizations that's gangsters? So I'm saying our organization start with the word gangster, right? Right, so yeah. when you walk down Middle Avenue, you see gangsters making nice people. Stay looking and they what about you think that yeah. was gangster? Yeah, what's this? What's going on? Right? So, <laughs> what's this right here? Yeah, what's this? And they sit there and take pictures. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, straight judge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, they don't what's know what's going on. Tell you what we do here. Yeah. Right? Because the, 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 the misperception is everything, man. Sure. Everybody yeah. will assume rather than seek information. That's right? easy. It's easy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just make it up. I'll make it what it is. Sure. Right? Sure. So, you know, we constantly going through that, but at the same time, when you talk to the streets, you talk to the people right. who've seen us do the whole COVID. Right. I see that. Right. When they said when they said it was curfew, we said we curfew. Right. 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 We outside. 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 We Right, we have to really do something drastic, right? And, and drastic can't be what everybody's going yelling and arguing for. We got to do what people may say. He wanted this drastic. Like, how dare he? Right? There was an article one day. Some very news did an article about me running for both president. And one one police source. Mm. Source police source. One police source. We <laughs> have great sources. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just doesn't quit. Right? Uh, and I'm like, no. <laughs> but, but what are you talking about? Why, like, why, why, why should I quit? Yeah, what am I quitting for? Right. Like, listen, I have to help, I to help save lives and change my community. Yeah. So I, I, I got to do something that is, is it for me. Right? Sure. Just people doing it for themselves. It's not something. Yeah, it's like, like, I'm yeah. it's not, I don't want to do it. And they, and they say that when, you, when you're when doing great things, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a lot of child be outside. Be great we had to go outside, right? I'm going to show you the politics, right? So if you look at politics right now, they got our community confused. We got straight to confused, right? right? I was talking to somebody just the other day. When somebody wanted to talk to a brother who, you know, was one of the big with us about doing some things in Brooklyn. Okay. So when politics came up, he's like, yeah, you know, Shannon, you're still winning. He's like, no, that's over. He's like, no, no, it's not over. It's not over. Right. It's right? Not over. And I'm, I'm watching, I'm, and you pay attention to the people, even people in politics who know politics, they're promoting it as if like it's over. Right, right. Because it's perception, it's what people believe. It's not just perception. They want the perception. Right. They, they want, want that. The perception is to be able to, let me tell you why, to be able to, uh, to put people back to sleep. Mm-hmm. Right? Because mm-hmm. right now we just had the primaries of June. Right. That's the Democratic primary. I keep missing that. Democrat. Yeah, Democrat, Republican, made parties, which started in the 1800s. All right. I've been a Democrat since my mother told me I was a Democrat. When I decided to run, I'm an independent. Right? I see some issues with Democrats, some issues with Republicans. Quite frankly, I've never been to none of those parties. They never invited me nowhere. <laughs> <Good. laughs> like, good, 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 I didn't get no party bag, no right, anniversary right. party, none of that. Just, in general, just saying, though, but 
I'm looking at the issues, right? Yeah. Looking at the issues, I I ain't swaying on no no side. I'm looking, okay, what's the issue? I, I believe in fairness. I believe in size. I believe in uh, if you go, you go right, you right. If you don't like, yeah, if you don't like the fact that you're wrong, so what? You wrong, and I'm gonna have to do one to tell you. You going to deal with that? Society don't like that, right? One of the issues also in um in New York City that I feel like the mayor has to deal with. So, so I also think that one of the presidents also has to deal with is homelessness. Right? Yes. So that's like a huge problem that they can't even like find a solution. Right, so I want to know, like, provided with the opportunity, provided with the, with the, with the power, right? How how would you launch a launch a, a plan to, to fix homelessness like, in, in, in our apartment? For example? So I'm actually going to uh, tomorrow at one o'clock. I'm going with some people to march to raise the mansion about homelessness. Mm. Look at that. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that. Yeah. This is different for me instead of the people. Right, yeah, yeah. The man can't even come up with this. Is, 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 what would you want to do about it? You ask them, what are you going to do about it? They're going to, they're going to make up a story about what they're going to do about it. Right. Well, yeah, you ask me, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to say, so what I'm doing now is, uh -huh. what I've been doing is, yeah, yeah. is a different current. So when I, when I get here, I'm going to be able to do more. It's yeah. a big difference there. You know what I'm saying? So get straight to it. That's what about the problem? Marching, marching, Gracie Mansion. Listen, this is home. This issue of homelessness. This is what you need to stop right now. We're trying to kick the people out of shelters right now, right? Or, or kick them out of hotels and put them back in shelters. Sure. Right. 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 A lot of and, and they still have everything right. So leave them in the shelters mm -hmm. until you figure it out. Right. And they and have time. Excuse out. me. We, we phrase that. Those they end up yeah. in the hotels. What's happening? There's is a that? lot of vacant. Oh, sorry, bro. There's a lot of vacant hotels. You look at all the hotels in Brooklyn mm -hmm. alone, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's coming up. Open. Who's but who, who's agreeing to that? Who's, if you if you put up all these hotels, you're not putting up homes. You're talking about homelessness now. Right. But you want to kick people out mm -hmm. of the shelters to bring tourists, but you don't want to give homes to people. Mm -hmm. You want to keep putting up uh, uh, storage facilities. Yeah. They tend to store facilities mm -hmm. throughout. Brooklyn, mm. and hotels. Yeah, it's a lot of hotels. All right, so why are we not putting affordable housing? Who's agreeing to put all these hotels? They're telling you, I go down to skin more, you know, like, you're putting some of these hotels. Yeah, it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot of hotels right next to, right next to it. It's like, 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 five on the block. Like, oh, you it's about five downtown, I won't buy them every day. On one block. You know what I'm saying? So this is, that's part of what we're talking about. That's how you write against homelessness. What time do people, like, meet you, like, if they want to go down there and check you out? Like, what time are you guys going down? So, uh, to the uh, March? Yes, to the March. One o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock, Gracie yeah. Mansion. If you want to be down with G Mac and go down there and tell them what's up with homeless, yeah. 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 homelessness, one o'clock, be down there. Yeah. Sure. That's dope. So, um, I want to know also, like, you, y'all your, your establishment also do things like y'all partner with, um, with the community with like drives and giveaways yeah. and things like that. Like, um, could the, this is summertime. Could people expect something like that this this year, being that COVID was like yeah, really hard for them? Yeah, really hard. Yeah, Do they expect you back to continue doing? Yeah, bro. We we, we we so that whole when COVID hit, we had to stop like everybody else. Right. And we we had funding. So what I did was I said I can't do the services that we would normally do for our young people. Mm -hmm. Can't do nobody out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start spending this money on the feed. Right, right. So, excuse me, I, I believe, you know, I, I did it before we came in the train, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why I did it is because everything that I do is about prevention. The yeah. issues that need to, issues in our community. That's my, I'm not about arguing about what the problem is, about solution, prevention and solution. So I said, I remember when I was hungry, I'm involved with somebody, so I get something to eat, mm -hmm. right? I want to prevent somebody from having to do that. So this is what we're going to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? This pantry is also like next to the home in the belly. It's like a free... Yeah, we hope that with the um, free kitchen. We got one by our office here on, King, on King's Highway. That's dope. Right? That's right. Dope. Uh, free, the free. We always put food. I mean, we have a family that yeah, cook hot food. Get out. Right. Yo, know, I, I seen it with my own eyes. That's, 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 yeah. that's for sure. And I did that before I think about running for anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, yeah. And the community did that because, you know, it's serious out there. Um, also, like, uh, 
with police, because I know that defunding the police is like, is like a huge thing. I feel like a lot of inner city communities is with defunding the police, you know what I mean? But um, I kind of, I asked my friends, like, what does that look like? What does defunding the police look like? Do you not have police officers around when you need them? Like, there's a necessity for police officers at a time, I feel like, and um, there's a necessity for not having police officers. But what does that look like when you do fund the police? So, so often that is a mixed up conversation, you know, who's starting it and right. leading it. Because people see that as a fear of that means we don't want police. And that's not what the term is when it was created. Right. So, when I learned of the, the term and I supported it, right, I supported it because I understood what, that, what it meant. And, and, and for me, it means budgeting, right? If you look at the budget that NYPD receives, or, or law enforcement, New York City receives the biggest, nobody even knows that, billions. So that's taxpayers' money. That's money that's allocated by our city council and our mayor, right? All right, from our taxes. So now they have to go with all our taxes, all the money, because I look at my taxes, take a lot of money from me, a lot of taxes. They say, okay, this is how we're going to spend your money, right? So that's also part of your money. Because I didn't be part of that country. I didn't want to be spending my people's money. What are you talking about? Good. All yeah. right? So now, when they look at the budget, they say, okay, this is what we want to spend it on. So we're now saying, okay, look, we're looking at what's been happening with us in law enforcement, and the people are saying that you're spending too much money on law enforcement. So defund means take some of that money away. It don't mean some people like schooling, right. medical. Correct, right? <laughs> because it's about spending. If you now have a, a job, you have a budget, you get paid the same amount, and you're going to spend money on something, and now you've been spending money on it, and you don't like the service, do you keep spending that much money? No, no, no. That's the conversation, right? right? So for me, my focus now is understanding moving forward with us is how do we talk about helping us, right? So that we not being combated in that conversation, like that's our primary focus, that's me, right? We got to fund our communities, right? Yeah, all right. Funding our communities. They just approved two hundred million dollars more for the police budget in this city council. What? Government to defund the talk. Yes. A couple of days ago. <laughs> uh, do they do these things without people knowing? No, it's an old thing. City council met. Yeah, that's what happened. They came together and met, they met the budget. City council voted yes to uh, two hundred million for. Yeah, so then when they have it, it's like a secret meeting. It's, it's literally like a secret meeting. People gotta wake up, bro. People not focused, man. And and, and and that's why I put myself here because I'm the type of person to wake people up. Mm-hmm. Right? There's people terrified that I put my hat in the waist like this. Like this is it's, it's reality. It's do it. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a job, right? Nice, nice. Y'all not doing the job. I don't care what you say about my past. Uh, you know, you know we come from this. Listen. I can do that job better than all of y'all. I'm the best person for that job. Yeah. Let me show you why, right? Okay. And I'm going to get it done, right? So that's what we got to look at. We, got, we can't be focused right now. They're focused on if you're a Democrat or Republican. No, focus on the candidate, the person. Where is that person? Who is that person? Right. And what, 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 what do they need to care about? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, they made a lot of get to talk about the real positive. It's going to get sticky. But understanding that, I'm saying, okay, this is what this person can I've already been in the community doing a lot of work. So now we want to go president. I'm saying, I know I can do more. Yeah. I know you, city council members, can be held accountable differently, right? If I'm the ball president and I know that you represent this borough and do not meet in the constituents' needs in that direct area, we want to let the people know. I'm the voice of the people as the ball president. People understand it's not just about, there's no legislation, it's about advocating for the people's rights. You know right. saying? You're afraid to speak up for the people's rights. You're not the president of that seat. So you need a voice of experience, bro. That's that's all, and also, there's a lot of um, other establishments that's like in our community, right? That's not that's not black owned, that's um, Arabian or, or, yeah. or Asian. And I feel like those those establishments should be held accountable for not helping the community because they didn't take in so much from the community. And I'm, yeah. I, at times I'm confused as to why they not, why they don't sponsor things, why they don't like have events, like why why are, why are these um, establishments allowed to to take so much from the com- from from the, from the community and also, not back that place is going to because nobody's holding them accountable, bro. Nobody cares about that. Yeah. They only care about the money they're making. Nobody cares. 
people that are running or running. Like, I talk about who's trying to be both cousins. I don't care about stuff like that. He's not going to do what he's going to do to make sure that that happens. I have plans for stuff like that. Right? It, it may scare some people, but it's reality. Right? Listen, y'all got to be held accountable. Reality. Right? I don't put everything out of there because people go, oh, man, hold up, bro. You talk about facts. Listen, you got to store on this corner. There's gun violence over here. Every day. People spend money every day. All right, this is what I'm going to need you to do. The community. I'm going to need uh, you to find a local organization over here and let's see what your monthly donation is in this neighborhood. Please. Well, the people with neighbors need to know you don't really care about them, you just care about their money. It's a fact, bro. It's a fact. Like, keep it real. We can't play the same games anymore. It has to change. I'm not here to front like I'm just some political uh, dude or some normal, I'm coming here, I'm going to share the coach. I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm here to be real about what this is, right? And, and but this, this is the fault. This is the fault. This is real. This is real. This is real shit. Like, nobody is going to help our kids, bro. Like, we, so we tired of walking through the fort mm-hmm. and in and, and action. I said, when I first when I first pulled up in the front, I said, yo, when I first pulled up in the front, I was pulled up in the front, my family was up there when I first, when we first opened up in the front, the cloudy, right? yeah. so when we opened up with these cameras in the, the hood, and I saw the community center under uh, Walt Whitman, mm-hmm. right, I was like, yeah. yo, why is that community center closed? Right, yeah, it's been closed for a while, too. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, why is it closed? Right. Right. Oh, because uh, there's issues with it. What kind of issues? You know, no, there's, there's, there's issues with it. There's structural issues. I'm like, structural issues with the community. I said, because we, we can have all these kids out here. We can be doing services right here. Right in there. We can have multi services yeah. right here. Both free and four sides. We can have people who's going to make sure this is safe. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but the structures, there's issues with the structure. I said, if, if, if there's issues with the structure of a community center that is it's under a, a building. building. Under, 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 under a building, building. Yeah. Under a building. There's, no, there's, there's no safety <laughs> issues. <laughs> and the Come building has stop this. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? See, that's blatant. That's Come blatant. On. See, they think Come on, bro. it's blatant idiocracy. They just said that, so. but it's like nobody caught it. All right. So, now, how do these things, so being that, all right, so by you becoming the borough president, these things are more in your power. Yes. It's my problem. Yeah. It's my problem. So now, if, if you, if you, so if you not, so let's say you come out here and you are doing something with community, you have to be engaged with people from that community. For sure. Who are leading it's whatever it is, whatever it is that you're doing. It has to be the community. If you don't know them, how could you, how could you have anything to, to, to offer them if you don't know them? And that's what, and I feel like I said this too. How can you we was outside one day, right? I don't know about the community at all. So and then there was, um, there's a lot of people that campaign in the neighborhood, right? So these people that are campaigning, you don't even know these people. You've never seen these people a day in your life, right? And they, they run up on you and they say, hey, do you know, can you vote? Uh, uh, look at this, vote, vote for this person. And I had a chance to speak to one of these people and I said, like, you are, I've never seen you before in this neighborhood at all. Yeah. Same thing with, that's, that was with Letitia James. Letitia James also campaigned in the neighborhood, happy like this is a this was a real heavy campaign in our neighborhood that, that, that I witnessed. And when it came down to things that's going on in our neighborhood, I mean, look at the basketball courts. Look at just look at the way the neighborhood is. Yeah. You automatically assume like, right. how could you request our votes or like campaign for our votes so vigorously and so hard that you don't do anything? For Interesting. So they really gonna be upset. They gonna, they're gonna be upset at me because I'm educated now, bro. Right? I'm, I mean, I'm definitely educated, and they don't like that. So they just wanna try to make me feel angry. So we petition, right? And what what I'm gonna say is, this, I learned something in this time of petition and running, right? And I learned, and it's important. If you look, you don't see too much about me out there in regards to it. You see slander from the papers, but. You don't see nothing out there about me. Because while everybody was campaigning and raising money, I was serving my community, right? Because there was so much confusion going on about this election, the primary election. So they didn't want to talk about nothing but the Democrats who were running. They don't want to talk about the independent. So it was a waste of time to try to do anything in that time period. So I started focusing and paying attention to what a lot of these um, candidates were doing, right? So I realized that. One, these elected officials don't come back to the community to help people because they pay attention to who donates to them. 
donations. Yeah, that they do everything for donations. No, everything no, it's, it's important though. Let me tell you why it's important. I know that now. Because that's what they use. That's that's the, the donations are extremely important. You can follow the donations, bro. You need to understand that. Mm-hmm. Okay, who ran? You can follow the money through the campaign finance board and see how they spent that money, where they money, right? And that's why I give education. I want people to be educated. Mm-hmm. This is my job, education, for sure. So as I'm paying attention to it, I'm realizing now that you can't spend your own money to run. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be managed. Yeah. So Bloomberg didn't. Fund it's all doing a whole different story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's people who, who, who right? But we're talking about rules and regulations, right? Right. All right. So you have to raise money, right? And for me, like I have to get donations, small donations from the people, mm-hmm. right? To to get massive funds, okay. right? So I can't get massive funds if I don't get enough small donations from the people, the community, to get eight to one match, right? That's what's happening in the campaign finance world. Well, look, they say right now the city. Taxpayers paid hundred million to those who ran in the Democratic primary. Hundred million. Look at that. Mm. And all of those candidates who ran in the Democratic primary just to lose. So all that money just spent campaigning and all that just strong gone. So mm. right? So I am waiting now. I'm in the general election. Right? Mm. Everybody don't know that. Everything's over and I'm in the general election. Now is when I focus on my campaign. So I get the same funds to be able to now put myself that into one value. And now be able to hire people, right? to be in the field campaigning for me, right? It's important to understand that. That's how they do it, mm-hmm. right? The difference with us, we did the petitioning. We engaged the people. I've seen the people who participate. I look on their page, and you see that they pay, they, they, they yeah, pay, people that come out they pay people who do that for them. That's why you don't see, you don't know those people. Right. They, hey, this is what you want to say, you want to go out there, talk about this candidate, he's the person, Bro, and they don't even have all that information. Right. Even they, don't. Them, they don't. They don't. They don't know, bro. Yeah. So I always tell them, I said, nobody won't be out there talking for me. I'm out there. Right. Because these are, I don't always give too much tips to the candidates, but he's my boat. He's my people. I didn't know, they didn't know who I am. And they don't understand from them how they feel about things. Right. right. So it was different for us. So we saw that, right? So now that's what I'm at with. Now, now I got to start my fundraiser, right? So, you know, talk about that campaign finance, but there's a link on my Facebook page. A link on my Shandu McFadder Instagram page okay. to you could match ten hours, right? Mm-hmm. And that's important to help me fight against a system, a machine. Right? Sure. Remember, it's a machine that don't want me to be seen. They don't want people. Nobody. To be, none, none of us. They right? don't want this. They don't want people to believe this is possible, right? right. Like right. this is about votes. This is about them trying to take our right to vote. The this is saying women, incarcerated men, women. People who never cared about voting now, this is an opportunity for us to really have a yeah. shot and to come and get changed and tell them that I will keep using these systems to beat us. The people are stronger than any systems. That's, that's right. what, I feel like that's the like that's part. the reason that a lot of uh, a lot of these things lose because a lot of parties lose because there's no real backbone, the real people who actually go and do it once you see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Once from the actual projects, you know what I'm saying? We, I've been here my whole life. And I've seen the change, and honestly, I'm not accepting. I'm not accepting going outside and seeing the same scaffolding up for the past seven years. That's just kind of reason. It's like no work being done. Like I'm not doing nothing. The last thing I do is put up a couple wires to make your the 5G system work a little better. Yeah. So if even that, if even that, right? Like, like what's going on? Like, I'm not feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I want to see actual change. And a lot of people request, I feel like this is also a huge problem that we have in our community with black people. We want, we want change, 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 change. Like what can we but do? But nobody change? wants to actually go out and change the shit. You know? It's like, it's like we can sit from our homes and watch our TVs and, and, and be on our phones and say, yeah, that's fucked up. Or that shit happened. Instead of actually going to make the change. That's the hardest part. How can, how are you gonna over over overlap that? Like how are you gonna conquer that part? How can we take that social media thing and make it look make it nice and do something instead of just looking at looking at it and be like, okay, I'm looking at what's happening, what can I do to change what's happening? You know what I'm saying stop just looking at it. There's something about it. There's people out there. And there's black women out there. More than black men. Like, it's a shame. Like, we see it all the time. Right, and it's time. It's, it's time for people to stop thinking about themselves. Mm. Right, I don't do this for myself. Nothing I do this for me. Right? I could have been just like, good. Yeah, right. good. I'm talking about nothing. No feedback. No, 
You know what I'm saying? That's not doing for me. That's yeah. a good quote. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm LLC in that. Yeah, I'm LLC in that. Come on, see me. Sign that little book. I'm more. I'm more educated too. You know what I'm saying? So what we got to do, when, I, when we say we got to stop doing this much, we got to remember, you know, I'm, I'm 43. Right? We got elders, young, young kids going through a lot, and elders are not stepping back to help them. They're sure right. about themselves. Right? Sure. And that selfish mind has to go. We have to realize that. We got one life. Everybody know when you wake up every day, you gotta have a positive mindset. Mm-hmm. But you have to think about the fact that you're going to die. If you have children in this world, what do you want for them? What do you want the legacy? What do you want them to inherit? Right? Not even it's not just about your legacy. It's not that I don't do nothing for my legacy. I'm saying I know how I was raised, what I experienced in life. Now I have kids. I'm looking at what's happening in this world. As a man, I'm saying, yeah, I can't get my, I can't be my kids to have that like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be a struggle. You see what I'm saying? I just, no, I got to leave it better for them. For everybody's kids. You know what I'm saying? We got, that's the mindset that we have. If we have that as men, then we're going to see change, bro. But we can't keep just talking about dudes beefing and they want to beat. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? The baby drink it, yeah, bro. It's not the baby drink it. Yeah, the baby drink it away. I ain't going to get you. We don't have a, we, I, it'll, it'll be a chance. With, with, with you in, 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 in the office for for people's voice to be heard, for people's voice to be actually act, acted upon, you know, because I feel like a lot of a lot of things that need to change don't even be heard. Like they're not even thinking that those things need to be changed, you know. Um I know right now, like the president of the um of Walt Whitman of the Walt Whitman community is um Miss Betty and there's another another young lady. And I had a talk with um with, with, with these individuals and I spoke to them and I found out that um, like they can't make the certain decision that they need to make because you know it's a lot of it's a lot of things that are involved in that, right and a lot I feel like the people who are in charge are giving them like a runaround you know saying that COVID is still an issue saying that these can't things can't be done there's a pipeline under the basketball court is why they can't rebuild the basketball court so um I don't understand why things like that can't change immediately. Like maybe I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that their time has passed. What I'm saying is that we, maybe we need a, a, a younger or more person that's focused on what's happening now, opposed to having so many older. Yes and no. Yes and no. Right. I, I I've been through that with some um, my own boys by the way. I was. The lady who ran the board for 27 years, right? and it's uh, it's shareholders, and the board of directors where nothing is changing. Like, I, I, I ran and got on that board, right? And they got upset at me. Like, oh, you're trying to change? Yes, yeah, they scared right? of change. Yeah, yeah. They scared of change. And, but, but we have to show them that as elders, they don't have to be afraid of change, right? They hold on to what they believe. They have a reason to hold on. There's a big reason they have to hold on to it. So we don't want them to go. We want to keep them there with us. They have to learn how to give us the deed. When we talk about mm-hmm. the younger people, right? Mm-hmm. And keeping them there to keep giving us the history and experience that they had, right? The things that we wouldn't even see and that we can learn and say, okay, I hear what happened there and we know what's happening now, but this is what we got to do together, right? That's how we have to work. Y'all can't just be the leaders, the elders. I've been holding seat now forever. about working. You, you, got, you got to get new minds. In. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about community boards, right? You got to have young people on the community boards and the elders on the community right. boards. That's, that's the change that you can have. Because yeah, if you got the elders here and the young people talking about their issues on a community board, you won't have these all these hotels coming up. Right. You'll have community centers coming up. you have different things coming up. you have entrepreneur centers coming up, right? You, you, you tell me you got space. For a hotel, I'm telling you, I want to, I want to make that a trade school, right? And no cost right. for my young people. They want to go walk in the building. Show me what you got. Right. Oh, I know where to put you. You know what I'm saying? Right. No cost, you good, right? This is what we're supposed to be creating for. That's a, that's a fact because they, I feel like school is also like a like a trick too. Like you know what I mean, because like they they teach you things in school that you can't really use in a, in a, in a, in a real world. Like they don't teach you about credit. They don't teach you about realty. They don't teach you about Things that you can actually use. 
you know, you can change that too, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, those yeah, things yeah. needed to make change, like having more vocational schools, like yeah. plumbing. Like those things are highly paid jobs that don't require you to go to college. Right? Schools, and, schools and education, education is important right now. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a major conversation. And I feel we really focus on changing what's been traditional in our schools will help our children. Right? For example, I don't feel that high school kids in this time should be going to school eight, nine, in the morning, ten in the morning. Mm-hmm. Right? They might start they get late. We got to adjust to our kids. They can get to that. I feel like that's conditioning because that's like a military thing where you're conditioned to be um, awake at a certain time because society requires you to work at this hour. Or I think you okay. You say that, but guess what? There's people who, who work for the 12, 12 For sure, there's a million. For sure, you know, no, sure. you know what I mean. So it's about understanding that if they're, if you're always late to school, okay, how about when you come later and you stay there? It's different. Now yeah. you're not. You see what I'm saying? You're not getting out. You're not using your three to four. You put that time in the to stay three o'clock, three or four o'clock in the afternoon. You're, you're running streets and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got to try to accommodate. Those, 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 those are astronomical changes. Yeah. With that right there, like, like this, right. those, those are astronomical yeah. changes. Will, right will the teachers be willing to actually stay behind those extra hours? That, you know, how do you get the teachers to, to you know, have a conversation? It's, you know, it's no pay conversation. Pay the teachers, bro. You know, paying the teachers. Pay I'd rather teachers. that thing. I work in the Department of Education, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's like a conflict that's been going on for like 25 years. Pay the teachers, pay the teachers, right? Yeah. And, and, and I feel like, even though like there, there's there's things in place like unions and things like that, teachers are still not being paid as much as they should be paid at home the job. This of course this is my opinion, right? Yeah. But um, I'm yeah. just saying that the the fight, the fight, the me, as a, later. me as a bold president, the fight for the pay for the teachers is gonna be serious. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm gonna be fighting for it. Honestly, it's gonna be bad if it's smoking on. Teachers in Brooklyn are going to be the only ones paid, I'm telling you. No, man. I think it could be spoken about. It's an independent market for, for, for teachers, right? It's, it's high, and they, they're well paid, right? So you get a lot of public school and a lot of like city school teachers leaving to go to, go to the private sector, right? So how do you how do you accommodate that? And then you got the teachers who really teach, not wanting to teach in the city. You got to put more money into the teachers. You gotta put more money into the school. Right. Technology. So you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta make, you gotta have a child wanting to run to school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A team wanting to be at school. You know what I'm saying? We understand the point of education. Mm-hmm. And it has to make sense to their life. You can't just say these are the only options in the class, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta watch a child. And when that child gets to that age of high school, you say, okay, what is it that you? What is your talent? What are you going to do? Right. Yeah, right. Okay, let's, 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 let's put you into that. Not saying that you got to take algebra, right? That I still never know what whatever happened. A plus B and X minus I never knew nobody that ever showed me where they used it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we have to be the architect. Right. Like, <laughs> like, like, if you are, then you push it. Yeah, for sure. If not, let's, let's really work your brain the way you're supposed to. But all the challenges that's happening in this world. You got to work different for our young people. That's dope. That's dope. So, what I get from the mission, what I get from the mission is that you, you, you're, you're projected into actually making change for the community, astronomical changes, because we just established that those things are, are, are big, would be big for the, for the community. And um, I feel like a lot of, a lot of young mission is geared towards getting these kids educated, getting everybody else educated. There's a lot of, there's a lack of, that's basically, um, I feel like a lot of the problems that we have is a lack of knowledge. We got we got a lot of good knowledge. It's just negative knowledge, bro. Yeah, people are well, be, well educated about some violence and bullshit. For sure, they can tell you everything yeah, about yeah. it. They can tell all the fouls, they can tell you anything, bro. But they can't tell you. Read a Harry Potter book. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta, it's, 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 it's true. We gotta, we gotta wake up, bro. And my transition happened because of the conservation. I used to be being a hood book since you know, I was going to jail. And then after a while, yeah, I was like, I got stuff. This keeps sounding like stuff I was doing. I don't want to keep reading this. You know what I'm saying? Like, the games and all yeah, this yeah, kind of stuff. It wouldn't just be something that you can uh, basically vibe with, something that you grew up with. Right, but it, it, was, it was entertainment. It was entertainment. Yeah. It was passing the time, but I realized it wasn't helping nothing. Eventually, when I started going back and forth and ended up in the box a lot because of my, uh, my level of violence at that time, trying to 
they should have nobody oppressed me. That was what happened. I was the blood coming up, and people were like, I was going to throw that blessing, so I went through the violence. And I seen a lot and had to deal with make sure nobody hurt me bad, but they sent me to the box a lot, right? And you get limited books. So while I was in the box, instead of reading those books, I started reading law books. And that's what, what made you choose to read law books. Like, like, I got tired of nonsense, but like, and, and first of all, I don't even like stupid stitching. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't like. You don't like stop I don't like. I don't like that. I don't be bad. That's just me. Yeah. That's why I don't. I gotta disagree with that. Listen, I'm gonna stop my logic because you know what I'm saying. Well, listen. If somebody just flying in the air and just turn into a person. Yeah. Yo, yo, honestly, yo, my bro is the same way. He be arguing with me all the time about that. He be like, yo, bro, I'm not even seeing much. I be like, yo, honestly, what? I find it funny. Nah, nah, nah. I find it hilarious, but you don't believe that. Yeah, yeah, what you talking about? Why did I say that? So that's that's like so I believe in ghosts or that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Nah, nah, sapphire and ghosts is two different things. Nah, nah, sapphire and ghosts. Two different worlds. Boy, yes, yeah. Boy, that's that's so, big shit, so yo, what I want to get into is um this track that you that you sent us. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, um, all right, so so what should we expect? What should we, is this the artist that you have in your repertoire? Is this something that is a part of your company? Like what yeah, that's the brother right here. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's that's King Matt. Right 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 yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So, before I play it, you want to introduce yourself, your track, before I play it? It's not my track first, bro. My name is Malakai Royale. That's not the um, campaign chain, bro. I'm looking at Malakai Royale. Real big. Other than most. That's what I'm saying. So you ain't know what the track is. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Let's run it down again. Let's run it down again. You know what I mean? This is the cheapest streets. He's trying to work with us to make sure whatever's happening to him, okay. we're going to give him. And he just got back in the studio, so you know, we just want to see what he's hitting for real quick. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here we go. Malachi Boy. Yeah, Boy. Yeah. 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 Tell me what you think real quick. At the fourth spot, remember when you heard it first? Remember at the fourth spot first. Yeah, Malachi Boy, yeah, let's go. One more Cheap man. I don't know how I stole. So special. Nice move by a move. Walking. You say this. This is original beat. Take it, don't talk about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wrong or right, that's how you gotta be. 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 Chanel bag, check. passport, check. now it's time to flex. Uh -huh. Black car, check. black car, check. don't worry about your ex, a real nigga on deck. Yeah. I think it's about time we move on to the next. Stop stressing the dude who only love you when you're wet. No. Every time you go out, the nigga get upset. I'm about to look in your eyes, something wrong with the sex. No. Like when you giggle when I'm kissing on your neck. Uh -huh. I make your body shiver when I hit it from the left. Recline your seat, let's get high and get sweat. Who's gonna love you like me? Nobody. Who's gonna fuck you like me? Nobody. A nigga run the street with the front line G's. Let him know, here one with me. I, I, I'm focused on money, I ain't chasing no women. But there's something about you that's hitting the door. Right? The way you say it, I'm gonna put that down. I know you were right, this is why I'm talking my pride. I treat you like my god now. Nah. Keep you stuck on my side. You know how it goes. Let's make it You got a nigga that's really in the Let's go. 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 Let's go.
got to pay. That's how I'm got to pay. It's a fucking hat on Page, you won't ever go to nothing like this this year. I'm telling you. Facts. Tell them where they can find you again one more time. You can find me on Instagram, Shan Duke McFadder, S H A N D U K E, last name M C P H A T T E R. Mr. G Mac. If you want to see your vote matter, vote Big Fatter. Facts. Everything else will be spoiled. And this is the four star reality. Oh, yeah. 